Hello and welcome to Algeria tomorrow. Gold, zinc, copper, phosphates. Algeria is counting on its significant mineral resources to diversify its economy. We're in the Sahara and as you can see it's covered by a blackish layer. We're on top of what's said to be one of the largest iron ore deposits in the world. A blast is scheduled this morning and I hear it's worth a visit. So let's go. To achieve its industrial ambitions, Algeria has relaunched several large mining projects. This one at Gara Jibalet is among the most pivotal. Billions of tons of iron ore have been lying dormant here since they were discovered in 1952. Finally, after years of studies, the site was opened up this summer. In the long term, the object is to extract tens of millions of tons per year. The only deposit in Algeria that can meet this demand is the Gara Jibalet deposit. Exploiting it is easy. It's in the open air. The waste rock is only 60 centimetres thick. You remove 60 centimetres and you see the ore. These workers are preparing a blast to widen the trench. It's the last step before putting the mine into operation. The desert subsurface is loaded with explosives. Blasting is the most important operation. Without demolishing the crust, we can't proceed. What can operating a mine like this mean for the region? It will create jobs, urban development. Entire towns are created once mines start operating. This is the moment everyone's taking cover. The ore will be sent to laboratories in Algeria and abroad, notably to China, whose companies are assisting in the development of the mine. The world's major consumers are now starting to find it difficult to obtain supplies. So as soon as they found out there was a large deposit in Algeria, they came forward to buy our product. Sample analysis shows the ore contains 90% iron, but also phosphorus, an undesirable element. Processing it will take place in new complexes further north. A railway line is to be built to transport the millions of tons extracted and to create a western economic corridor between Tindof and Oran, home to the leader of the national steel industry, Tosyali, Algeria. The group which has helped the country become a net exporter of long steel is investing in flat steel and has its eyes on the new mine. For us, having a local deposit will be a great help. There are a lot of projects being revived in Algeria and that's something we very much appreciate. There's a very good business climate in Algeria today. The Gara Jebelet mine is not the only mega project. There's to be an integrated phosphate plant for exporting fertilizer in Tbessa in the east. In Bejaya, further north, a large lead zinc deposit will be exploited. Other programs are on the table too, as part of an action plan to revitalize the sector. Today, the world economy needs metals, needs mineral products, and Algeria wants to seize this opportunity to create wealth, to create employment, to develop our country, and to leave future generations with substantial projects and projects of value. Algeria also wants to intensify its search for rare earth elements, which are highly prized internationally. They were mentioned in the Algiers Declaration signed by the Algerian and French presidents in late August. It's time to come and work together to exploit what is exploitable and to look for what is not yet found, but which may be found promptly. Today, the European Union needs to look for other resources, which are not too far away, whose potential is well known. Algeria. To facilitate progress, the country has just reformed its mining law and decided to create a new school for future mining professionals. That's where this episode ends. Thank you for watching. See you soon in Algeria tomorrow.